All right, welcome back. I have just made this new update video because a lot of people have been asking me, Kush, how do you zoom inside a clip which usually appears still? Like let's say if you had just placed your camera which was recording on the tripod and there was no movement, you didn't pan, you didn't zoom while shooting and it was just a still kind of a footage. How can you create an artificial zoom? Because it's very popular and there's one very important reason for doing what I'm just going to be showing you, the zooming and panning, okay? Which I'll just talk about after I have shown you how it's done, okay? So let's see how to do this. So I've got two clips which I'll be using for, uh, for this demo. If I just play this clip, the first clip is just like a stationary clip of these flowers, okay? So just play this on the timeline, you can see. Yeah, it, there is movement, but there's only movement of the flowers, right? There was no movement of the camera. So we're gonna create that movement. And secondly, this other clip is again, like this, like a time lapse, but again, this is still, right? So we're gonna create a zooming movement in the first clip, okay, this one, and we're gonna create a left to right plan, uh, panning movement on the second clip. So how do you do this? Very, very easy. There are a couple of ways to uh, actually do this in DaVinci Resolve. One is you just select the clip. So right now we're gonna zoom in in this first flash clip. So once you've selected the clip, like it's highlighted here, you just go over to Inspector, okay? So this option here, and here it's very easy. But now this can be done manually using the zoom and positions and all these things. I'm just gonna show you something faster right now, okay? There is an option called as dynamic zoom so if you just enable this and it's available in the free feature okay uh, free version that i'm using okay so you can see here if now if i do this if i select this we get a couple of options i'll talk about these but first just see what happens here okay so just if i just play this now can you see now we've got a movement right but right now it's kind of you know like going from in to out right what if you want the opposite well then you can hit this swap option. And if you do that, it's gonna do the opposite. So just see. So, I'm sorry. So you can see right there, there's, we're kind of having a lag, but you kind of get the idea that, yeah, now it's just going this way. So we've been able to create just by literally clicking a one click, okay? And now, if you wanna change how this zoom kind of behaves, you have a lot of options. Linear just means like, it's gonna be, the zooming is gonna be equal till for the entire duration. It's not gonna be fast and then slow, but if you wanna ease in, for example, it's just gonna be, you know, it's just gonna be slightly slow uh, when it's just starting out and become faster towards the end. So if I just play this, and then suddenly it picks up. Okay, so kind of just gives it more smoothness and the starting. Same, similarly, ease out is gonna to be towards the end, it's just gonna kind of smoothen things out, and ease in and out is just gonna kind of make it overall, like really, really smooth, except for the middle part, okay? So yeah, you can uh, test out a couple of these options here, and I also wanna show you how to do this manually, okay, the zooming part, because that will also help us pan for this uh, second clip here, okay? So let's see how to do that. So how you can do all this manually also is if just on the left here, so once you select the clip, just on the just below the timeline, you're gonna see like this square or rectangle kind of icon, okay? And just next to it, you have this arrow. So now you can again go to the dynamic zoom option. And this time, you kind of have full manual control over how much you wanna zoom and all these things, okay? Now, the moment I hit that dynamic zoom option, you must have noticed that there are two boxes here, right? One is a green box and one is a red box, right? So what the green box is trying to tell you here is that the zoom is gonna start like this. That means it's gonna start this process by zooming in this much, almost like a cropped video, okay? And then it's gonna zoom out till the time it reaches the red box. So green is the starting, red is the ending. So let's see how this looks, okay? So if I do this, you see it starts off with that way that green thing was and it's kind of expanding towards the red part. You can also do the opposite because you can change the size of this. So you can do this, it's gonna do the opposite. So if I do this, this time it's gonna kind of zoom in like this, okay? You can even kind of have complete control over this, okay? So maybe I just wanna crop it at the start, okay? I wanna place this, let's say a bit down. Increase the size, place is, let's say, something like here. And you can kind of create your manual zooms. So if I do this, 
right? You can see it's kind of just going to follow wherever you place these things, okay? So now, of course, we don't want to do that. That didn't look good. So you can just use it for normal zooming, okay? And the speed by which it's going to zoom in, of course, also depends on the duration, okay, of the clip. So since it has to travel from this, like let's say and you do something like this, okay, then obviously that is going to happen pretty fast because this is a short clip. Right, okay, so I hope you get the point. Also, I just want to show you how to pan. And again, I want to this time go from left to right. So my, this green one is going to be on the left and it's going to pan like this. And the red one is going to be like here, okay? Like this, and let's just see how this looks. Boom, 